tomorrow, the Ducks will take on the Billikens. And you're probably wondering, what the heck is a Billiken? Jake Zivin and Eric Elkin are in San Jose and have your answer. In the NCAA tournament, you have to get comfortable with the unfamiliar. Oregon has just 48 hours to learn everything about St. Louis. Eric Elkin has the first lesson. Jake, there's no doubt St. Louis is very good and a legitimate threat to make a deep run in this tournament. But it's not just the team that presents problems, its mascot does too. They're the St. Louis Billikens, which begs the question, what the heck is a Billikin? I have no idea what that is. I looked at it and I, I, I can't figure out what that is. I have no idea. I have no idea. So I, I don't know. I've heard the Billikins all this time, but I have no idea what it is. I, <laughs> someone just asked me that and I thought he said Pelican. I said, that's a bird. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what a Billikin is. It's a type of bird, right? Some type of, what, what is that? I don't know. It's like some Harry Potter stuff or something like that. I just found out it's a, a, a Billikin, which is a troll doll. I just figured that out. Uh, I, uh, that's all I, troll. Doll. A good luck animal, I guess. Uh, that's that's what I got told, so that's what I'm going with. I heard it was like a good luck charm or something like that. So I guess like, <laughs> like, some, like a lot of good luck, I guess. I'm still not exactly sure. I mean, I know it's like a, you know, a mythical creature of luck is pretty much what I've gotten, but uh, it kind of it kind of changes from whoever you ask. So it's a mythical good luck creature. And as you heard some of the St. Louis players say, a billikin is a mythical charm that is supposed to bring good luck. It was created back in the early 1900s. But most of the Ducks said they have plenty more to worry about than what the opponent's mascot is. Jake, let's go back to you. Thanks, Eric. The Ducks hope that playing the Billikens will be their good luck charm. And this St. Louis team is much more intimidating than its whimsical mascot. The Billikens are the Atlantic 10 champions. They lost to Washington on November 28th. That's the only common opponent with the Ducks. Since then, have only lost three games, two of them in overtime. St. Louis beat Butler three times, VCU twice, and LaSalle once. Their leading scorer, Dwayne Evans, dropped 24 on New Mexico State on Thursday. Thursday. But the key matchup in this game should lie with the two big men down under. 6'11 center Rob Lowe and 6'8 forward Cody Ellis. Two guys that like to step outside and shoot the three. So think Angus Brandt or Brock Modem. And the duck big men are going to have to go out there with them. That's where this game could be won or lost. It creates all kinds of mismatches. You know, we hate to get Tony and Wave that far out there. Uh, but we're going to have to some tomorrow. Uh, but it does create a lot of problems for us. Uh, that would be challenging for us. Uh, we don't, I don't usually play guys like that, uh, that may be like one or two guys like that in our conference. So um, that will be a challenge for us. But um, it's a challenge, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get ready for it today. My, my main focus is on the defense because I know their best player play my position. So I just have to go out there and try to guard him. And he's going to be like modem for me. I'm just going to be focused on defense and just go out there and guard him. And an interesting connection in this game to the Willamette Valley. St. Louis's interim head coach, Jim Cruz, was the head man at Evansville in 1989 when the Aces upset Oregon State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. That was Ralph Miller's final game in charge of the Beavers. From inside of HP Pavilion, I'm Jake Sivan.